guys, Miss Ford here. Today we're going to start off with a little game. Take a few seconds to look at the three pictures and make some observations. Using your observations, tell me which one is not closely related to the other two. Based on morphology, most of you probably chose the whale, but it's actually the pig that doesn't belong. Based on DNA evidence, scientists have determined that the hippo and the whale are more closely related. Scientists use a process called bioinformatics to analyze biological data to determine evolutionary relationships between two organisms. Bioinformatics uses statistics, mathematical modeling, and computer science to analyze the data. An extremely powerful tool is BLAST. BLAST is an acronym for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. We will be using BLAST in our investigation. A team of scientists have uncovered this fossil specimen near Hales Creek, Montana. Little is known about the fossil other than it appears to be a new species. Upon careful examination, small amounts of tissue have been discovered. The scientists were able to extract proteins from the tissue and use the information to sequence several genes. Your task is to use BLAST to analyze these genes and determine the most likely placement of the fossil species on the fossil collotogram. Pause the video and make some general observations about the morphology. Form an initial hypothesis as to where you believe the specimen should be placed on the collotogram based on the morphological observations you made earlier. Now let's learn to use BLAST. The first thing you need to do is to download the gene files from the Blogging for Biology website. I have placed the link on the Google Classroom. Once at the site, all you need to do is to click on the gene and click download. You may want to save these files to your desktop for easy access later. Now that all the gene files have been downloaded, you need to access the BLAST website. I have placed this link on the Google Drive. Once you click on the link, you should be at the BLAST home site. Once here, click on Save Strategies. Under Upload Search Strategies, choose File, locate the gene you just downloaded, and click View. A screen will appear with the parameters for your query already configured. Do not alter any of the parameters. Scroll down the page and click the BLAST button. The results page has two sections. The first section is a graphical display of matching sequences. The top bar represents the gene sequences you entered into BLAST. The red bars represent the top results in the query and how well aligned each result is with the gene of interest. Scroll down to the section titled Sequences Producing Significant Alignments. The species in the list that appears below are those with sequences identical or most similar to the gene of interest. The most similar sequences are listed first. This is the species and gene name that matches the gene of interest. The score refers to how many gaps or substitutions are associated with the sequence. The higher the score, the more similar the alignment. The E value is the likelihood that a match occurred purely by chance. The lower the E value, the better the match. These links refer to related entries in other BLAST databases. They are not used at this particular time. If you click on a particular species listed, you will get a full report that includes the species classification scheme, the research journal in which the gene was first reported, and the sequence of bases that appear to align with your gene of interest. And this shows the exact pattern of alignment. The top line is the gene of interest, and the bottom line is the matching sequences. If we scroll back up to the graphical display, you will see distance of tree results. A collotogram of the species with similar sequences to your gene of interest placed on the collotogram will be shown according to how closely their matched genes aligns with your gene of interest. 
After collecting and analyzing all the data for that particular gene, repeat this procedure for the other three gene sequences. As you collect your data from BLAST, you should be thinking about your original hypothesis and whether the data supports or causes you to reject your original placement of the organism on the collodogram. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until next time.